welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. I'm really excited to do this 3D bloom. What I've done is I took a six inch, an eight inch, and a 10 inch cradled wood board, and I glued them together. Um, I actually used paint because I didn't have any glue, but you could use paint or glue or anything and let it dry. And I put tricorn black. Um, Sherwin Williams colors to go. This first color is Liquitex gouache. Um, fluorescent violet, one of my favorite colors. Um, the next color is TLP, this little piggy comet. It's actually an interference color. It's red interference, but it comes off pretty pink, which I love. This is another pigment, TLP pinwheel, which is a pink, but it's blue interference. So in certain lights, it looks blue. Um, here we have Matisse Rose Matter. It's a really nice, obviously I like pink, so you can see all the pink colors. Uh, this is TLP Grenache, a beautiful red color. And you can see I'm just loading up all the different colors. Next we have TLP Cinnamon, which is kind of like a copper color, which I really like. So we're doing warms, and the goal is to get the bloom all the way down to the edges, and it will look warped, but that's okay. It will look more flowy. I'm just topping it off with golden titanium white in my pouring medium. You can see how I mix up my stuff in video number 81 or 82. And finally, I'm gonna put the Shelly Art Cell Activator right on top. Uh, this is Payne's Gray Amsterdam mixed with um, sh the Shelly Art recipe. And you can get 15% off. You can use my code in the description for the amazing class. You could learn not really about just about recipes, but you get so much help from all over the world, which I love. And then once she's down, I'm gonna blow it out and spin it out and see what happens. So here I go. And when you spin, you wanna try to spin um, only once or twice if possible. So you don't get any lines of the paint kind of falling. And she looks pretty good to me. It's pretty cool, sparkly. Um, I got paint all the way down to the first tier. Um, because the boards are thick, they're about half an inch thick, you won't really get cells on the bottom boards, but you'll get more of the flowy look, kind of more like a Dutch pour. Um, but it's really cool, I think. Look at how high it is. So, I hope you liked it. Let me know what you think. And here's a close up coming right up. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think and hope you have a good day. Bye.